In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a banner design in PowerPoint and you can use this banner design for social media accounts like Instagram or for TikTok for some other purpose also uh, you can use it. So you can see here I've just added one background image of a plant and I've given the heading as organic growth. You can add your company logo and the company name and you can add the contact details here and if you want you can add some additional text in this place so if you want you can just make it maybe this much size or you can make it a full slide and this can also be used as a title slide so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes from the rectangle select the rectangle draw the rectangle at the top of the slide maybe this much size and then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some different color and later on we can give some gradient fill then i'm going to give a kind of a wave shape or a curve shape for that right mouse click edit points you can see here four points are there so this point i'm just going to drag a little bit up you can see something like this and then this square box or shape i'm just going to drag it up and this one you can see here i'm just dragging it down so it looks something like this if you want you can just make something more like this if you feel that okay this is if you want to make it more up you can just make it more up also and you can just adjust it as per your requirement now i'm going to add one more shape again go to insert shapes from the basic shapes select the right triangle draw the right triangle shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some different color then go rotate you can just say i'm going to say flip horizontal and then i'm going to say flip vertical and then you can just reduce the size to match with the this shape and then right mouse click edit points you can see at this point i'm just going to drag it down and this one i'm going to drag it up so it looks something like this so let me just make it sorry let me just edit point once again and then let me just drag it further so you end up getting this shape and I'm going to add the similar shape in the bottom. Go to insert shapes. Again, select the right triangle. Draw the right triangle. And shape outline. Make it no outline. And then you can just go rotate and flip horizontal. Let me just increase the size. And then right mouse click edit points. You can see here this I can just move it up. And this also you can move it somewhat up. So you end up getting this shape and if you want, we can just increase something like this also. And then this color also, you can just change it and later on we can change the color as per the requirement. It's time to add the background image. Uh, generally, I use this particular website. Let me just type it for you. www.unsplasplash.com this is a website generally i use to copy any images and this is absolutely free you can download very good quality images from this website now let me just go to insert shapes i'm going to select the basic shape or the rectangle here and just draw the rectangle covering the whole slide shape outline make it no outline and right mouse click go to format shape and you can just go and select here you can see here picture or texture fill or uh, before that one you can just send this to back so i'm just going to select picture or texture fill so by default i have used this image so that's the reason it's coming here or you can just go to insert click from the file and you can insert your image here in this particular rectangle now if you want you can change this color example i'm just going to change it to white something like this and then you can add the details of the facebook or the social media accounts here go to insert i can just shapes and select the rectangle draw a small rectangle here you can see here maybe this much size and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it white 
and increase the transparency level here so you can see i have increased the transparency level and select this shape bring to front and then i can go to insert i can click the icons here you don't have the facebook icons but you can add uh, some other icons uh, just for this tutorial purpose if you have the facebook or social social media accounts you can just add it so let me just uh, scroll it down and i'm just going to select maybe this is the mobile and then i can select few other images or the icons we can see here i can just select maybe this one here and one more this and click on insert so the icons inserted here and i'm going to change the height height and width to 0.3 only and graphic fill make it white and then i'm just going to select the mobile here i'm going to put it then i'm going to put for this the website details and then this is the location detail then you can go to insert and add the detail text here go to insert text box and add your text here make it white font and i'm going to change the font to century gothic or any other font of your choice reduce the font size and then copy it here press ctrl d to duplicate it let me just move this you can see here and the last one i can just go and copy one more here you can see here this also you can just move a little bit this side then you can add your the title here you can go to insert again text box and you can just type your title any font you can choose again i can choose century gothic make it bold white font increase the size and here you can add your logo so for that i'm just going to add some a uh, random uh, icon here as a logo and then you can just put your logo here you can see here and then go to insert shapes select a uh, oval shape draw oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here shape outline make it no outline and you can give the same color and increase the transparency you can see here now i'm just going to select this and bring to front and here you can add any text for that go to insert text box i can just type equals to l o r e m within bracket one you can type two three also that many times it will repeat so this one i'm going to make it white text and then i can make it the same font which is century gothic if you want you can reduce the size and just put it exactly in the center something like this and in this area you can add any button for example shapes select the rounded corner rectangle draw maybe this much size and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some good colors here and then you can just add the text That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.